Hi there, Chris Stalky with you here, and this is the muller String Method for Violin, Book 2, Lesson 36, Numbers 206 to 210. As we found out on Lesson 35, um, we are doing the dotted quarter eighth rhythm. The previous page was either in 2-4 time or 4-4 time. So on Lesson 36, they have introduced 3-4 time. So the concept that we were talking about with Lesson 35, where we have to be careful with how much bow speed and length we are using in order to not run out of bow, compounds itself on this page because we're dealing with an odd time signature. Anytime we're dealing with an odd time signature, we must pay attention to how much bow we allot to everything so that we do not run out and we recycle it as best we can. Therefore, we're not getting out towards the tip too often and we'll always have enough bow in order to accomplish everything that we need to on the page. So in 206, they're demonstrating the rhythms that they'll be using uh, as we go down the page. And just a little reminder, we want to bow a little slower on the dotted quarter or the tied quarter to the eighth, uh, a faster up bow on the single eighth note, and then perhaps a little bit more length on the quarter note on the bow, not length in time, but a little more length on the bow so that way we get out and have enough bow to do the next bar. Um, so uh, make sure that you're paying attention to how much bow you're giving everything so that um, it makes sense when you do whatever the next bar has to offer. So I'm gonna demonstrate um, pattern A on 206. Okay, so that's pattern A. You can see that I basically recycled the same amount of bow on the second bar as I used on the first bar. So that worked out really nicely. Um, in pattern B, they simply reverse where the dotted quarter eighth rhythm is. So instead of at the beginning of the bar, it's at the latter half of the bar. Okay, I'll do uh, pattern B for you. All right, so that's 206. 207 puts pattern A into effect. This is 207. And again, just a little reminder, I do not do repeats unless there's a DC alfine, in which case I do the DC. And there will be one uh, on the last piece of this page. Next, we have 208. Uh, and again, if there are printed fours, please make sure you use them because as we go through the book, we will have to. This book introduces flats and we need those fourth fingers in order to get some of those flats accomplished. Number 209, Thanksgiving Hymn. Number 210, My Gondola. I will perform the melody part first, and I am doing the DC.
now 2010, the harmony part. <laughs> 